So a little while ago, I tested out a ferrocerium rod sent to me by Uberleben, and that was the 8 inch by 1 half inch Kraftig. And I compared it against a 5 inch by half inch ferrocerium rod that I had purchased from China. And it stood up very well. It was a big fire steel, a little bit bigger than I'm going to carry in my pocket, but still a very good fire steel for somebody who wants one that'll probably last them virtually forever. Now, Uberleben has sent me another ferrocerium rod to test out, a brand new offering known as the Hexa. It is a six inch by half inch, six sided ferrocerium rod with the idea that the flat side should produce more sparks. Shall we test it? All right, I don't know how you can best test a ferrocerium rod. They all work. It's just a matter of will this work any better, any different than any other ferrocerium rod. So what I thought I'd do is just give you a little bit of a close up. You can see I have been striking down one flat side of it a little bit of chatter and all I've been using on it is the included striker from Uberleben, the Uberleben name there. It has a nice little burr on it. Uh, it hasn't come off yet so that nice little burr does work. I could use the back of my knife but I think in all fairness what I'll do is I'll start just by using this on both ferrocerium rods. So as you can see I have been striking here. I don't know how else to test this in daylight. I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm under a tree trying to uh, give you an idea of the sparks but uh, I don't know how well it'll show in the daylight. It works as expected but that's not the what we're looking to see. What we're looking to see is does it work better or as good as a round ferrocerium rod. So let's dig out the other one that I have with me. And this is my regular carry, the one I carry pretty much all the time, or at least one of the five inch ones I carry. This one's usually on my belt. Even if I grab one out of my fire kit to use, I always have one in my pocket, this one specifically. And you can see what's happening. I tend to favor one side of it, not for any special reason. In fact, I probably should start rotating it and start getting wear on all sides. But as a result, it's getting a little bit of a scoop, but it's also flattening some. So this may not be a fair test against the uh, six-sided hexa unless I roll it over and start working with one of the rounded side, which is what I'll do. Let's see. I don't know how well we can compare one against the other, but it throws sparks too. All right, that's what we wanted to know. So they both throw sparks, and uh, you know, so far they look pretty even. Um, we're going to do a little test with birch bark and see how that works. Okay, for so this part of the test, what I thought I would do is uh, use a piece of birch bark I just pulled off of a dead log. I do have some other nice fine feathery stuff, but I like the challenge of using old dead birch bark that I has to first prepare. So big enough that I can do both, test both rods right on the same piece of birch bark. I'm intentionally working in my own shadow so that you can better see the, the sparks. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Halifax, but I want to make sure you can see what's taking place. So use my belt knife, which today is my long favorite, not often carried anymore, Ontario SK-5 Blackbird. Quite like this knife, I should carry it more. Alright, that's probably enough just to get it to light anyway. So I guess first test, the old standard 5 inch ferrocerium rod with a newly scraped up side and that lit up first strike. Yeah, no surprises there. I use that often so I know how well it performs. Alright, let's prepare a little bit more. Ah, the wind is blowing it all away on me. I did mention it was a beautiful day, but it's also quite windy. Try not to lose it all. All right, that should be enough to at least get a spark. Using the side I have been working with, the flat side, because it is already bare of the uh, any corrosion coating on it. Well, two strikes. 
Uh, no, two strikes for no special reason. What I've just noticed is, is that it does seem to produce a little bit more spark than the rounded rod does. And that, that is the theory, and that seemed to be true. I wasn't sure up until now, because I have been playing with this, but I haven't really done a side-by-side -side comparison. So in doing the side-by-side -side comparison, yeah, I can say that the flat side does seem to produce a, a bit more spark, or maybe even a significant bit more spark than... Uh, than does the rounded side. But as I did say, this rod has become rounded over time, so it starts to even up the, uh, the performance. But this one works better out of the box. All right, simple test to show that it does work as intended. So let's wrap this video up. So does the six-sided Uberlieben Hexa work better than a round-sided ferrocerium rod? I'd say it works at least as well there does seem to be quite a bit of truth to the fact that the flat sides do produce more spark. Yeah, actually, I think it does work a little bit better than a round-sided ferrocerium rod. So if you're in the market for a new ferrocerium rod and you want one that will give you maximum spark, a little different looking as well. And you know, I just realized probably a little easier to hold on to as well. The 6 inch seems to be a nice sweet spot. It is just big enough in my pocket. I wouldn't want to carry anything bigger in my pocket. It does come with this nice included piece of leather uh, lanyard on it. The striker does come with. Now, I did add it the little piece of paracord and uh, carabiner so that I can carry them and then take them off from each other when I want to use them. But otherwise, I use the carabiner to attach it to my, my belt. Yeah, the Uberlieben Hexit. The flat sides do seem to work better than round side of ferrous serum rods. So I would say it is a good product. It lights fires, and that's what you want from a ferrous serum rod. So as usual, I'll put some links in the show notes below where you can purchase the Hexa. And until we see each other again, get out and explore. Take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.